Welcome to KidVid Cinema. I can't believe it's our last day together. I've had so much fun getting to know you and listening to your stories. I've had so much fun getting to meet all of our new friends in the KidVid videos each week. Now, we're, are you ready to meet one more friend and watch our last KidVid Cinema video together? Are you ready? I can't wait to see who we're gonna meet today. Let's watch and find out. I'm Renee and I'm 10 years old. Hi, I'm Alina and I'm 11 years old. Renee and Alina are great friends and they live in the beautiful desert of Southern Arizona. They love to hang out and be silly together. Their friendship has grown after they both joined an arts ministry at their church. Um, Enzo's Manos is a creative art ministry. We do puppets, we do shows, we do skits and stuff like that. En sus manos is Spanish for in his hands. It's an art ministry that uses performance to share the love of God. There is dancing, acting, and music. My favorite thing about performing is probably looking like um, at the end looking at like all the kids all smiling and laughing and like Sometimes performances are serious, and sometimes they're fun and silly. Regardless of being silly or not, one thing is true. Being a part of Ensus Manos has brought the entire team closer together. This puppet ministry helped us become better friends. And it's not just like me and her. Like other people? A lot more. Basically the whole group. Our group, like before, like we were all friends, like we were chill, but now we're like, we're like really, really good friends and like we're always hanging out. We're always like laughing, making jokes. Jesus has used the ministry to bring the team together. This team of friends help each other to do the best they can to share God's love. My friends, like they help me not be nervous because like they were doing, they were doing it too and they were nervous, but at the same time they, they supported us. I was with my friends and I knew a lot of people in, from church so is it that, that scary anymore? Serving Jesus together has helped Lena and Renee become great friends, but they both know who the best friend is, Jesus. He, he's like one of our like bestest friends ever. He is. <laughs> yeah. Renee and Alina know that Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Jesus helps me make friends. Um, like God knows that I'm doing like this whole ministry for him and so it just helped me like become better friends with people so he helped me like be friends with a lot of people but still like worship him and praise him. In the Bible in the book of John chapter 15 verse 12 it says love each other in the same way I have loved you. Jesus loved us all equally so we should love everybody because as he says in the Bible, we're all brothers and sisters and love your enemies. Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Wow, what a good story about good friends. In your life, what do you look for in a good friend? For me, I'm like a good friend that's someone that I can do fun things with, like playing games. What about you? Pause the video here and discuss with the people around you. Thanks for those ideas. But something I found in my life is that friendships don't always work out, just as the relationship as Renee and Annalene have. Sometimes you think someone is a friend, but then something happens to just change your mind. Maybe the person you thought was a friend talked behind your back or made fun of you. Or maybe you hurt a friend's feeling and the friendship ended. When's the time a friendship didn't work out for you in your life? Pause the video and discuss with the people around you. All month at Rocky Railway, we've been learning about Jesus' power 
And today, we're discovering that Jesus' power helps us be good friends. I love that in this Bible verse, Jesus gives us advice about how exactly to be a good friend. Jesus tells us to love each other in the same way that he loved us. Let's think back to what we've learned this month at VBS and see what we can discover about loving each other like Jesus loved us. On the first day of Kid Vid Cinema, we met Dominic. Dominic loved karate, even though it's hard sometimes. Watching Dominic, we learned that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Helping us do hard things is one way that Jesus shows he loves us. So I guess that means we could be a good friend by helping someone do a hard thing. After Dominic, we met Annalise, who used her music to give her sick grandmother hope. From Annalise, we learned that Jesus' power gives us hope. Jesus shows his love for us by giving us hope. If we want to love others just like Jesus loves us, we could give someone hope. After Annalise, we met Lauren, who volunteers at our local community food center. She helps us remember that Jesus' power helps us be bold. Jesus shows his love for us by helping us be bold. In our video today, we learned how Renee and Annalie helped each other not be nervous before a performance. So that's one way to help a friend be bold. Yesterday, we met Isaac, who knows he'll see his brother Joel in heaven someday. Isaac's story can help us remember that Jesus' power lets us live forever. I'm so glad for the new friends we've made here at Rocky Railway. I'll close our time together in a prayer. Dear God, thank you for this wonderful month together that we've been able to have with our KidVid Cinema videos. Thank you for all of these incredible lessons that we've had, and thank you for letting us learn that Jesus loves us, Jesus' power pulls us through, and that together with Jesus' strength, we're able to overcome anything in our path. Lord, we want to just pray for your watch over us as we continue after VBS has ended and we want your strength to go with us every day forever until we get united with you in heaven one day again and in Jesus name amen